Hello guys, I'm Aish Madhur from itsyellowthing.com and today on my Nokia X I'm going to demonstrate the very basic feature of this very first Nokia Android phone, the Nokia X. So the calling feature is quite obvious for a phone and not much people would bother looking at this video but still some are there who would like to see this video and uh, here I'm demonstrating it so here are the three dials given by Nokia uh, in this Nokia X user interface the phone one shows the dialer and people one which shows the contact and messaging for messaging so here is the phone dial it is actually a live dial so here you can see the two um, in brasses this shows there are two notifications that means two missed calls so on tapping the dial it will take you to the notification and will take you to the missed calls like this so here I am having a missed call from my senior maybe I would consider calling him after a few times <laughs> so but uh, without notification it will take you directly to the dialer so here it is the very minimalistic dialer you can just dial any number and tap on this green button it, it will call that number uh, as it is dual sim so the sim which is set by default will be uh, the number called will be used by that sim will be called by that sim so if you want to call from my, the second sim you have to first change the default sim and then dial the number like one two three and then call the number it will be called from the second sim so uh, this was the dialer swiping towards the left you will see the recent calls so here are the recent call I have made and I got from previous previously the green one shows the dialed calls the red one shows the missed calls uh, the number in British shows how many times it had called the sim number and the phone button here will directly call that number and then there's a blue sign here this shows the received calls and tapping on any contact will show its contact details like I have an example it will show you the contact details like mobile number email address location and websites depending on what you have saved already in the contacts tapping like if there is if you tap on the address it will take you to the hair maps application and show you the location quite a nice feature now typing towards the left you will see the <coughs> favorites and top contacts the favorites are like you have to set favorites already I have set my family members and top contacts are based on how many times you have called those numbers and again swiping towards down you will see all the contacts downwards here is a swipe, uh, scroller you will take directly take you to the uh, digits like alphabets uh, alphabetically and taking up you will be taken to the top again and there are some settings like add new contact contacts to display this is a very nice feature you can set which contacts are to, to be displayed like all contacts phone contacts sim contacts your email account contacts or you can uh, customize by your own way by selecting what you have to set display on your contacts so this was all in the calling things oh yeah we have the settings to show yeah in this recent call you can show all you can be set, set show all calls only show missed calls or show received calls also only dialed calls clear recent calls and the settings so in settings you can see the keypad tones turn on proximity sensor which will turn off the screen while dialing and speed dial setting uh, you can set the numbers in a speed dial which is very basic call settings here you can set the ringtone for each sim vibrate or not vibrate voicemail fixed dialing number call forwarding and other settings include caller id and call waiting features uh, which are quite basic for everything it's tapping on sim 2 are the same settings for sim 2 and like if you got a call from a unknown number you can save it directly like I got this call from one of my senior I can tap here and it will ask you tap on the unknown people sign photo you can it will ask me to add to contacts I can say okay and then 
take you to the number or name you can of course add new name i am having him i am having him in my contacts already so i will just update it uh, here it is so it will ask me to change whatever things you can make okay and now saving the contacts you can now have the contacts and see it has been changed so this was all for the in the calling menu yeah you while dialing now if i dial a number you can of course make a conference call also like i have dialed for airtel help you can have the keypad from here to do some uh, response in in the call itself you can ta uh, go to back and uh, tap add call you can of course add one more call like one to one and that call will be go behind the uh, on hold and you will be calling calling the new number and but you can of course merge those calls Wait, just let me try this another time. One, two. Add call. Like it has been just calling. Yeah, you have the merge call options here and the, there will be a conference call going on. You can mute, you can uh, on the loudspeaker, you can hold and of course you can end the call by tapping the red button. The settings are the same. So this was all in the calling menu. You can now the messaging. So messaging in is quite basic. You can see the conversation mode. You cannot change the conversation mode. You can in settings you can menu you can see delete all conversation going to the setting you will see all the text messaging settings you can change them anytime to add a new message you can have to tap the plus button and then add recipient you can of course add multiple recipient like I have uh, I can add my mommy and on my brother and then type the message here and like have a nice day and by tapping this I can send this message it shows which uh, sim is used while sending this message the characters used you can add smileys like uh, I can add happy face no oops I'm not sad at all. You can add happy face and other faces. You can add pictures. You can tag for take photos instantly, videos, recorded audio, all such things. Well, if you tap back directly, it will be saved in the draft. But if you have to delete it, you have to just open the menu and delete. It will be deleted instantly. So this was the messaging feature in this phone and this was all of course you can see the latest you can use the fast lane to see the latest calls missed calls call back and send message instantly and uh, that's all any questions you can add that question in the comment i will definitely answer that any more queries uh, about any other application tell me i will make video for that also thank you for watching this video